Yo, bro. My name's Menard. Mind if I sit down? No, go right ahead. Ugh. Thanks, bro. You're totally the sweetest. Ugh. I'm so excited about this. I can't believe that I'm gonna rock out for God. Hey. <laughs> you are? Uh, totally, bro. It's how I'm gifted. Is that why you have the guitar? This is no guitar, bro. This is Ezekiel. You named your guitar Ezekiel. He's my favorite prophet, dude. And the guy was way punk rock. I did not realize that. I'm so glad they're making this talent show. You know, I've been a Christian for like five years, and I never knew that I had this gift that I could use for God. You mean you just started playing guitar? No way, bro. No. I've been shredding this baby since I was eight years old. I didn't just know that God had given me this gift. I thought he only gifted people with like praying and teaching and stuff. I see. Come to find out, God's given people all kinds of artistic talents that he wants us to use for him, like painting, sculpting, music, poetry, and even acting. You mean God has gifted some people to act in church? You mean people... God's given people all kinds of artistic talents, like... He... <laughs> mm. I had this line perfectly. I know. <laughs> I think... oh, wait, wait, I took your line. Yeah. <laughs> So weird, bro, right? Yes, totally. So what's your gift, bro? You play drums? You sing? Um, no, that's not my style. I played the recorder in the third grade, but I was never very good. Well, whatever your gift is, I'm sure it'll be rad. Way more rad than playing the recorder. Yeah, you can't exactly rock out on the recorder. No, you could hurt yourself doing that, man. Well, Monog, I wish you luck with your gift. I know God's blessed you, and I know he will use it. Thank you so much, bro. I'm sure God will do that for you, too. I sure hope so. Cool. Peace out, homie. Stay fresh. So did you catch from our skit this week what gifts we were talking about today? Ah, yes. Artistic musical gifts. When we think about gifts and talents in the church, we often think about the singers and the musicians who are at the front of the church leading worship through song. We are blessed to have such talented people such as Mr. Turvey, Mr. Holly, Mrs. Denbach, Mrs. Archer, Miss Nelson, Mr. Johns, and Mrs. Johns to help us kick off our weekly worship services. But beyond music, we also have many artistic, gifted people who serve with this gift as well. Do you remember the Beach Glass Initiative? It takes artistic talent to figure out how to create jewelry out of beach glass to bring joy to others and glory to God. Just look at our kid jam room that was painted by Mrs. Jennings and her artistic abilities and Mr. Allen and all of his artistic talent. All of these artists are following in the footsteps of King David, a man who frequently put his own musical gift to good use as he used it to give glory to God. Let's check him out in our Bibles. Let's turn to Psalm 8. And in Psalm 8, we find it says, For the director of music, a psalm of David. So it's a song that David wrote. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants, you have ordained praise. Because of your enemies, to silence the flow and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all flocks and herds, and the beasts of the fields, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, and all that swim in the paths of the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. How we praise the Lord. Different ways that we can praise the Lord. 
And I have a question for you. Do you think a god is artistic? Do you think he's creative? What do you think? See, heads nodding. Michael, what do you think? Yeah, yeah Eli? I'll just say the same thing. Yes? <coughs> yeah? And can you give examples? Do you agree? Yeah. Thanks, Noah. Give me an example. Why do you think that God would be artistic or creative? Elia? Because he made us in the whole entire world. He made us in the whole entire world. Good point. Micah, do you want to add? Made animals. Made animals. Ava? everything in the world look the same? No. No. Yeah. Great. Noah is your brother, but he doesn't look the same as you. Great. Almost. Well, you have your differences, right? Everything is different, differently made. And what about all the colors that God used? Right? He made things very creatively, very artistically. Good. And so, King David always took time to praise God. He wrote songs of praise despite being first a shepherd boy and then being a king. He still took the time to praise God and play his harp and he danced, right? He made sure that he was praising God as well. Right, and just like King David reminds us to praise God, our churches also praise God, right? What's the first thing that we do when we come into church in the morning? Okay. Yeah, we sing songs, right? We use music. Good. So music and art are important to God. And like you all have said, in Genesis, it says God made man in his own image. And if he made us artistic and we're in his image, that means he's artistic as well. Great. And so God has gifted many people with the ability to use those gifts and to make music or to write songs or to draw or to paint or sculpt, or dance, or photograph, right? All of those things God has gifted different people with. And there's then there's the challenge, right? There's a challenge for everybody with their gifts, but especially those that are artistic, is quite often when somebody hears you singing really well, they're like, wow, that's a good singer. Wow, we should find the best singer. And how many shows are there about finding the person who's the best singer? or has the best talent and showcase them to everyone. And then people can take all that glory on themselves and be like, oh yeah, I'm the best singer, or I do the best art. Look at my painting that sells for millions of dollars. Right? Right, there's always that challenge that when we're gifted with something that everybody sees that we take all that glory for ourselves so we forget who gave us that gift and where that glory should be pointed. So it's a challenge for all of us to remember that when God has gifted us with something, we need to use that gift to point others to God and to point others back to him and give all the glory to God, right? To praise the one who gave us our gifts. So if you're gifted in music or art or drama or creativity, right, let's remember to use those gifts for God and direct our praise to him through those gifts. So maybe you're thinking here, you're like, huh, I really like to dance, or I really like to draw, or I like to write, or I like to sing, right? Remember to use those gifts for God. And so you're going to get a chance to explore that a little bit more in your small group this morning. So let's go right to our small group time. And so we have Mr. Will here today for our guys group there. We have... Mrs. Henderson for our grade six girls, which I think Annalise and Eden today. And Miss um, Catherine usually goes with the other girls. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks. And then Miss Ashlyn with our other girls. And then Miss Rachel and I will hang out with Emerson, Noah, and Elliot today. Yes, I'm a good kid. 
entertainment, probably.